We're back. Where are they, Miss Farrell? Where are the people? They're gone, dear. Come and gone. I'm sorry, Annie. They were all liars and fakes after nothing but the $50,000. Are you certain? Yes, sir. None of them knew about the lockets. I'm so sorry. Gee, I thought for sure one of them was going to be my mother and father. Excuse me, sir. This has just come from special messenger from the FBI. Ah, uh, finally. Elliot Ness has located the manufacturer of Annie's locket in Utica, New York. Oh, boy! That sort of locket was manufactured between 1918 and 1924. Sort of locket? Yes. Over 90,000 were made and sold. 90,000? Annie, I'm afraid the gist of it is that Ness doesn't think there's a chance in a million of tracing your parents to that lock. I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, gee, you did the best you could. If you couldn't find them, nobody could. And I guess a kid can get along without parents. You didn't turn out so bad. You got everything. All them Dusenbergs hanging on the walls and everything. Excuse us, sir. We'll go check on the dinner menu. Annie, a Dusenberg is a car. Babe Ruth is right field of the New York Yankees. And there's something else that you should know. I may be a fortune, that fortune may tend in headline and profile again and again. But something was missing, I never quite knew that something was someone, but who? My speech is are greeted with Congress acclaim at two universities bearing my name. Yet something was missing each time I got through. That something was someone, but who, who could that so? Be how could she make it known? Who would he be for me? Need me for me But where was the pearl who dreamed I would find it in one little girl? Yes, something was missing, but dreams do come true. That something is no Yes, 
have those legal papers I gave you the other day? Yes, sir. I'll get them right away, sir. No, wait. Great. I want you to stay for a moment. I haven't waltzed since J.P. Morgan went bust. Annie, sit down. Annie, I want to adopt you. Adopt me? Yes or no? If I can't have my real mother and father, there's no one in the world I'd rather have for a father than you, Mr. Warbucks. Drake. Yes, sir? Call Justice Brandy's and ask him to come over and sign those adoption papers. Yes, sir. Grace. Tell Mrs. Jewell that there'll be a house full of guests. We'll need flowers. Flowers. Caviar. Caviar. Champagne. Champagne. Annie, this isn't just going to be an adoption. It's going to be a celebration. And you have anyone in the world you want to come to. Who would you like? Babe Ruth, Johnny Rockefeller, Madam Chiang Kai-shek. She's a lot of fun. Well, I guess I'd like Miss Farrell here. And Mr. Drake, Mrs. Pugh, Cecile, Annette, Mrs. Greer. I guess I'd like everybody here. Of course. That's who I'd like to. Great. Yes, sir. Tell the staff to get spiffed up. They're going to be guests at Annie's adoption party. Yes, sir. Oh, and the kids. No, no, it'll be way past their bedtime. But I'll tell you what. We'll have everyone here from the orphanage tomorrow for a big Christmas party. Miss Hannigan, too? Miss Hannigan, too. Why not? Excuse me, sir. But everyone is getting... And these are your words, sir. Spiffed up for the party tonight. Ah, good. I think Annie and I should get spiffed up, too. Grace? Yes, sir? Grace, out to still put Annie. Well, hi, Grace. That's a very pretty dress. Thank you, sir. Have Cecile put her under one of her new dresses and have Annette do something with her hair. Take her upstairs and, I don't know, guess her up. Yes, sir. Justice Brandes has arrived. There. My friends, welcome to the happiest night of my life. Mm. Must be getting spiffed up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm the luckiest man in the world.